In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create something that I'm calling a multiple regression scatter plot. I actually can't say I've seen one before in a manuscript or a book, uh, but I do think that what I'm going to demonstrate how to do here accurately represents a multiple regression uh, in a scatter plot form. So I'm just going to cover uh, basic scatter plots very quickly and then move on to the multiple regression scatter plot. And the data set I have here. Uh, are consistent with two independent variables and one dependent variable. And the uh, purpose of the multiple regression analysis is to use these two independent variables to maximally predict the dependent variable. We can look at the correlations between the variables just to check things out uh, initially. And we can see that they're all positively correlated with each other. These are simulated data. Uh, the independent and the dependent variable are correlated uh, only relatively weakly. Uh, at point two zero, uh, and the dependent variables are correlated. Uh, I should say the independent variables are correlated with the dependent variable equally at point five five zero. And people might be inclined to represent the association between the independent variables and the dependent variable using uh, a scatter plot strategy. And that's certainly a possibility and one that you see frequently. And we can see that in this case here, uh, there looks like to be a pretty good correlation. In fact, it's 0.55, uh, so a little over than uh, maybe 30% of the variance is being accounted for. If we add the, the um, line of best fit, we'll see the R squared value, and it's 30.3% uh, 30 30 of the variance is being accounted for in uh, this scatter plot. Let me just get, actually, I'll keep that there. So we've got 30.3% of the variance is being accounted for in the dependent variable from independent variable 1. And we'll see that the same thing happens again uh, with independent variable 2. And I'll add the percentage of variance accounted for and get rid of the regression equation. And if I were to do a multiple regression analysis, I'll find that the multiple r is much bigger than any of the individual correlations. In fact, multiple R comes out at 0 0.710. Fifty percent of the variance is being accounted for by the two independent variables in combination, whereas only 30 percent of the variance is being accounted for by any of the independent variables, variables individually. And the question, or what I'm going to propose here, is that you can create a scatter plot to depict the multiple regression model R value of 0 0.70. And the way you do that is to create predicted values from the regression equation, and then use those predicted values uh, to predict the dependent variable. And you'd put those variables in a scatter plot. So going to uh, Analyze Regression Linear and click the Save button so that you save the unstandardized predicted values. You can do this through the, you can create predicted unstandardized uh, values using the regression equation as I did in a previous video. But this is the quick way of doing it. Just get SPSS to do it for you. Click OK. Now SPSS has created another variable called uh, predicted underscore one. So these are my unstandardized predicted values that are derived from the regression equation based on these, this, the unstandardized, I should say the, the intercept and these two unstandardized slopes and that creates the predicted values and the relationship between the predicted value and the actual dependent variables corresponds to model R which means that you can create here's the 0.71 which means you can create a scatter plot out of your predicted variable and your actual dependent variables and that will represent your multiple regression scatter plot. And here it is. So let me add the R squared to that, and I get my R squared of 0 0.50. And we can compare the two scatter plots, uh, the previous scatter plots. You can see there's really a lot of variance being accounted for here, and the, the, dot, uh, the points are very close to the uh, line of fit, whereas in comparison, these are the individual variable scatter plots, which show much more error, prediction error around the line of fit. Uh, so in comparison, this looks much tighter. 
And this is what I would consider a multiple regression scatter plot. And as I mentioned, I don't see this in uh, manuscripts if somebody's seen it before where somebody wanted to depict uh, a model, model R scatter plot. I'd be happy to check that out and see it. Uh, this is but this is something I uncovered recently and I thought I'd share it with you.